Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a screencast for the Active Inspire software. This screencast will focus on how to actually be able to annotate over the desktop. Um, being desktop I, I speak of any type of application that could be something on the web, it could be another document and another application that you may have. Uh, but here's basically what you'll need to do. Um, in order to do this you need to go to be within Active Inspire and go to your toolbox and in the toolbox you need to create or excuse me click on the desktop desktop annotate button which is this button right here uh, it looks like a screen with a little uh, scribbling all over top of it I'm going to click that it will close Active Inspire and bring up whatever is on my um, whatever was on my desktop in this case I already had the internet open so you can see here here's the North Allegheny's uh, homepage so I'm here uh, let's pretend I want to click on technology and now on this page, let's say I'm talking to kids about something and I want to be able to draw over top of this page to make a point. I'll go to my toolbox, I'll click on the pen, I'll click on the color I want, and then I will be able to come over and draw over top of this web page, annotate, annotate do pretty much whatever I like to do over top of this web page um, without any problem. Now that's not the only thing you're able to do. You're able to also use all the functionality you had within Active Inspire. I can click on uh, some shapes, I can click a star, and I can come and draw a star on top of this web page as well. And when you're done with that, just click back on the cursor button, and you can see again, uh, all those annotations will stay. And the nice part about these annotations actually, is that they, if you want them to be saved, they can be saved on um, uh, within Active Inspire as a separate type of file. So let's pretend I'm done. I want to get back into the software. What I need to do is I need to roll my cursor back over top of the original button that I clicked on the toolbox, which was the desktop annotate button. I click it, and now I'm back into Active Inspire. Um, as you can see, though, as soon as I've done that, at the very top of my screen, here is the flip chart that I'm on, the Active Inspire orientation training. Here is the flip chart they call the desktop flip chart. That's the flip chart that was that's going to allow me to save if I want to um, and will contain all of the annotations that I just had. So it's pretty easy. Uh, again, that can be used, the desktop annotate button can be used with any application within, uh, well, basically on the screen, what's, regardless of what it is. It could be a document, it could be a web page. Um, I use it a lot. I used to use it a lot when I taught math. Um, I brought up our online book and I, I was able to do questions right there on the online book without having to have, you know, redo the question on the chalkboard or on my Promethean board. So hopefully that worked well for you. Uh, please don't hesitate to ask me about that button um, at a separate time. Thank you very much.